Assured Automation, we make automation easy. Today we're going to review the wiring instructions for the S4 series AC and DC electric actuators. The S4 series is a reversing motor actuator with end of limit travel switches to stop the motor in either direction. A wiring diagram can be found on our website or if needed on the outside cover of the actuator. Safety first, make sure all power is off. To access a terminal strip, remove the screws from the main power connector and contact switch connector and pull off. To access the wire terminations, use a small screwdriver to separate the connector. Wire as follows for three wire control. To open unit counterclockwise rotation, place positive DC power or AC line on terminal 3, negative DC power or AC neutral on terminal 1. To close the unit clockwise rotation, place positive DC power or AC line on terminal 2, negative DC power or AC neutral on terminal 1. DC voltage actuators can also be wired using a two-wire control. Wired DC units as follows for two-wire control. Large DIN connector is for the main power. To open unit counterclockwise rotation, place positive DC power on terminal 3, negative DC power on terminal 2. To close the unit clockwise rotation, place positive DC power on terminal 2, negative DC power on terminal 3. Small DIN connector is for isolated dry contact switches. Supply AC or DC power on terminal 1. Feedback power for open position will be at terminal 3. Feedback power for closed position will be at terminal 2. These same wiring instructions apply for the battery backup unit. For modulating actuators with positioner boards wire as follows. This unit will have three external connectors. Large DIN connector is for main power, wire as follows. Positive DC power or AC line on terminal 2. Negative DC power or AC neutral on terminal 1. Middle small DIN connector is for control signal. Wire as follows. Negative input on terminal 1. Positive input on terminal 2. The right small DIN connector is for dry contact switches. The same wiring instructions shown earlier in this video apply for these dry contact switches. To use the manual override in the event of power loss, turn the switch on the actuator to manual and use the hand wheel on top to turn the actuator to the desired position. Make sure to turn the switch back to auto when you are done with the manual override so the actuator will respond to electronic controls. Assured Automation, your source for manual and automated valves and flow meters.